Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a full 100% drugstore tutorial today. Yay! I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. I want to show you guys that you don't need a ton of money um, and high-end products, even though they're nice, because I'm not going to lie, you know, I'm obsessed with makeup, so I love it. But it's not necessary. Um, and if you're young or you're in college or you're in high school, I mean, you don't really have the budget to be going to Sephora and buying all this stuff. So anyway, this is a 100% um, drugstore tutorial. I'm really happy with the way that the look turned out. Really cute. I really like it. I think it's really appropriate for so many different occasions. So if you want to see how I accomplish this look, just keep on watching and don't forget do not do me like that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to check me out on social media. And yeah, so hopefully you really like it. Okay, bye I guys. Do, I've already moisturized with my Neutrogena uh, moisturizer, and I also primed a little bit with my pore minimizer. It's my favorite, it's from number seven. I'll link it down below because um, I already did it and now we're gonna go in with this pixie glow mist this is really good so we're gonna go ahead and do that I've actually been using it for about two months now and I really love it and it's the Maybelline dream cushion it's my next video is gonna be a total review on this but I wanted you guys to see how you know it applies look at that I love this. It's become definitely one of my favorite drugstore foundations. All right, so for the under eyes, I need to color correct. So usually I use my Cover FX little click um, color corrector in orange um, to cover some of these dark circles. So here's the thing. I'm not gonna use that today. Um, I'm going to use, and you can do this, just like an orange tone lipstick. If you don't need to color correct, you can just go in and skip this part, it's not necessary. But if you have really um, a lot of pigmentation the way I do, a lot of this is pigmentation. Sometimes it's even darker if I have a lot of allergies. But we are just going to, this is a little redder than I would like. I like it more like orangey peachy, but it would it's still gonna do the trick so I'm gonna use my other favorite um, drugstore concealer and that is the Maybelline fit me this is light or and then I use like fair to highlight so I am just going to we're gonna do these little areas where we tend to get red for hormonal reasons because we are punished for being women and we have to deal with all that crap and I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique sponge and I'm going to blend it all out. I like to go over my eye because that's gonna already start setting up the foundation for priming for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with another really popular item and this is the um, Instant Age Rewind and I'm gonna use it in Fair. I'm just gonna use this to highlight a little bit. This is a great product too. I prefer the Fit Me concealer, but this is good. And I'm just gonna use this to highlight. And blend this out as well. Because I do crease, so I don't care what it is. I am setting something. What I usually use is the RCMA powder. The other option is the Maybelline um, loose powder that comes in a, contact, in a compact. Um, and I love that one actually. I was using that for the longest time, but I can't find I'm it. Go ahead and use this one. But this is, guys, you know what? This is $12. The Maybelline um, powder, which I'm gonna link it down below, I believe is $10, but you don't get a lot of products. You get a ton of product. Like this is gonna last you a really long time. So I highly, highly suggest this. It's amazing and it's really great for if you have normal to dry skin, it's not gonna leave like a cakey underfeel. Okay, so do this. I'm gonna set everything, like my entire face where I applied product because it really gives it a nice airbrush feel. 
and you're using a damp sponge. And I don't know if you've noticed, but yes, I'm still, I'm still wearing the curly hair. I'm going to use, this is Pixie by Petra. It's a beauty bronzer in summertime. This one is amazing as well. I have got a lot of good um, drugstore bronzers actually, but I really like this one. It's really pretty. It's not too orangey or anything like that. So we're gonna bronze I don't really want to do like any harsh contour. I thought about it, but I don't want to do it. Just wanted something a little bit softer because we are in spring. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go in with that shimmer palette that I mentioned in Rose um, from number seven. This is also drugstore. I'm just going to add that. This is their newest bronzer. I don't know for some reason they don't have the other shimmer palette, which is my favorite. But this is, I would say it's even like a dupe for Max Give Me Sun. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of that. It's really affordable. I'm going to bring in like an old favorite in Dolce Pink from Milani. It's this really pretty color because it does bring out a little bit of texture. But if not, I am going to get the L'Oreal True Match in Rosy Outlook. It's good to have a rosy outlook. All right, so I'm gonna start with this one first with Rosy Outlook from L'Oreal. And now I'm gonna add in a little bit of that, um, the Dolce Pink. I'm just gonna put a little bit, because we didn't really contour, but I still wanna make sure that everything's nice and defined. So I'm gonna get um, my wet sponge, and you can do it in your loose powder. Cut that cheek. Give me the cheekbones that I don't naturally have. A little bit here, because I don't really do a lot of contour on the nose. God knows I need it. So I'm just gonna sweep it. One of my go-to drugstore um, brow products, and it's in Brun, Brun? Literally, it's like B-R-U-N, so you tell me how to pronounce it, I don't know. And this is from, I hate it when it rubs off. I'm pretty sure it's L'Oreal. I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX uh, Dewy Finish. This is a really great one. That was unnecessary, but I went in for an extra pump. I am going to use the Makeup Revolution palette. I picked this up and I was really impressed. It's almost like a dupe I would say for the naked three um, I'm gonna use the morphe m517 use what you have and I'm gonna go in with this vanilla shade it doesn't have names on the um, palette but that's okay because I'm gonna show them to you I'm gonna use this to set we are going to just ensure that the rest of our shadows blend out nicely I guess I'm gonna try this one as a transition shade it's a little bit on I don't know we'll see it's a Kind of like a cool tone. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna try that as my transition shade. With my next um, shade to deepen that a little bit and it's gonna be this little like, kind of like I guess like a brown tone. Let's see? So yeah. But it's pretty, it's not, it's not too dark. Maybe it's just me. We're gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible um, in Amber Rush. This is really pretty color. You know, I love using these. Really, really pretty, um, like a rose gold color. I'm gonna go in with my finger and I am going to press this on my lid. Tone. I'm gonna go in with this rose, deep rose gold color. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger because it always gives me good pigmentation when I use my finger. I'm gonna use Adelium 776. I'm gonna go back in with that first initial transition shade to buff out. Some of those edges. 
And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna deepen that crease a little bit and I think I'm going to use, hmm, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get a little bold and I'm gonna go in with this like last shade, which is like pretty, pretty like deep, almost like purpley tone. I'm gonna try it out. Ooh, that is deep. These seem to be blending out pretty good, actually. Put it in the crease, just like that. And then I'm gonna go into that V formation, going in a little bit onto the lid. Use that second transition shade. And I am going to buff things out a bit go in with the morphe m508 and i'm going to use the same transition shades this one and this one and i'm just going to pop that on the under eye like this um i'm going to use this maybelline gel pencil in polished amethyst it's like a purple shade I'm gonna put that in my waterline. I'm liking this. And I'm gonna use that last shade, which is like this dark purple tone. It has a little bit of like, like sheen, cut like, I don't know if it's glitter or something on it. I use that to set it. I'm kinda liking this. You know, I get excited. Once it starts getting pulled together, I get really excited. I'm trying to blend out this little edge is driving me crazy. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to take some concealer and I'm going to clean that up a little bit because it's really bugging me. Something else. I'm going to use the Infallible Ice Latte and I'm going to pop that right here in my tear duct. Give it a little extra something. Use that a little bit of that in my brow bone. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the one. And this is by Rimmel Rosetto. I think it's really pretty. So for highlighter, I'm going to use another Makeup Revolution product that I absolutely love. Look at the size of this pan. It's like $7. It's amazing. And this is in the color Illuminati. I'm going to use my fingers. I've been really into using my fingers for highlighter. I feel like it blends into my skin a little bit more. And um, before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and put some more of this on camera. And I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Hydrofuge. Do that and I'll be right back. Okay, yay! So this is the finished product. Like, what do you guys think? I absolutely love it. Like, I've been using some of these products for, like, the longest time. They're some of my favorites. The one thing that I had not used was this palette from Makeup Revolution. It's, I would say, a dupe for the Naked 3. Um, it's, like, 7 bucks, you guys. Like, you can't beat it, you know? I'm like, dang, this is really good. Um, it's really pretty. And, yeah, I thought I was just going to go for, like, a like simple rose gold you know eye makeup i wasn't sure but i think that purple under the eyes just really it gave me life it made me like super excited i really really like it so um i'm really happy with the way the look turned out super happy actually like i'm like i feel good today i feel good I, i'm like you okay you know i feel like i need to be going out somewhere but i'm not <laughs> i just gotta go to work i gotta go to the office so yeah anyway Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and um, this crazy curly hair that continues to make a pop-up appearance in my videos. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, check out my Instagram. I always post looks on there that sometimes don't make it on to the camera but yeah i post a pretty much a new look every day i try to anyway so check me out on social media and i will see you in the next one thanks bye guys